Assalamu alaikum guys, there have been these weird incidents happening on flights in America, uh, not just once but twice now. The first one involved this lady who seemed perfectly sane but she claimed to see something strange on the plane. I'm telling you I'm getting the f off and there's a reason why I'm getting the f off and everyone can either believe it or they cannot believe it. I don't give two f but I am telling you right now, at first, you might think she's just hallucinating or something, right? But here's the crazy part. Some of the other passengers actually backed up her story. And here's where it gets even weirder. Her hand gestures and movements were like similar to those Illuminati signs or even the symbols of the Church of Satan. I mean, if you watch the video of the incident in slow motion you will see what i'm talking about it's pretty unusual to say the least honestly but hey i don't want to go all the conspiracy theories on you guys i have to stick to the script mate before she really started getting frantic like was paying attention to this but that makes sense it was like a normal flight this was after putting all the luggage away we'd been on the plane for a little bit it was before the flight attendant came over and gave the little spiel and what I remember is she ha was having like a full-blown conversation with this dude in the hoodie. I'll call him the hoodie guy. She was having a full-blown conversation with hoodie guy. The weird thing was that he never once said a word to her the whole time. And at the time, I, I don't know, I wasn't really thinking about it. But it was like she, it's like she would say something and he like would respond, but there was no exchange happening it was just her getting more and more frantic which okay if she's drunk and she's going crazy then you would think the dude in the hoodie would have been like what are you talking about like what are you talking about but he was just like dead locked on her like deep eye contact with her like like i don't want to feed into the conspiracies here but like like almost like she was like in a hypnosis type of thing and she started getting more and more frantic to the point where then people started kind of noticing flight attendant came over tried to calm her down like what's going on she sat back down but she kept looking over at this dude in the hoodie and finally she was like done with it and that's like when i really started paying attention like okay what's going on and that's when she was like i'm i can't do this she started getting up she started walking up to the front and then the whole video thing happened i didn't take a video of it i was listening to a stephen king audiobook i wasn't like pulling out my phone to record this and she didn't seem drunk to me by the way just throwing that out there she i didn't i didn't see her drink i mean she didn't she seemed totally normal to me up until that point the weird thing was after she left the plane the dude in the hoodie which the flight attendant was like did anything happen and he still didn't say a word he just went like and like shrugged the dude in the hoodie like looked around the plane and he looked back at me and he winked at me and again i didn't quite register it i was like okay what the fuck was that about i was like maybe he's just being like and it's like winking like that was weird wasn't it but now that i look back i realized that when he winked at me and it was his left eye looking back at me it didn't wink like this it winked like this at first i brushed it off as some kind of hallucination or maybe overreaction or exaggerated reaction as the case may be but then it happened again on another american flight uh that's when i started to think okay something is something's definitely not right here this time a guy freaked out and wanted to open the airplane doors because he believed he was seeing a ghost or gene Luckily, they managed to handle the situation before things got out of control. Now, here's the thing. None of these people had any history of mental illness. So the best explanation we've got is that they actually encountered demons. Yeah, you heard me right. Demons or people possessed by Jean. It's a pretty scary stuff, mate. Before she really started getting frantic, like was paying attention to this, but that makes sense. It was like a normal flight. This was after putting all the luggage away. We'd been on the plane for a little bit. It was before the flight attendant came over and gave the little spiel. And what I remember is 
she ha was having like a full-blown conversation with this dude in the hoodie i'll call him the hoodie guy she was having a full-blown conversation with hoodie guy the weird thing was that he never once said a word to her the whole time and at the time i i don't know i wasn't really thinking about it but it was like she it's like she would say something and he like would respond but there was no exchange happening it was just her getting more and more frantic which okay if she's drunk and she's going crazy then you would think the dude in the hoodie would have been like what are you talking about like what are you talking about but he was just like dead locked on her like deep eye contact with her like like i don't want to feed into the conspiracies here but like like almost like she was like in a hypnosis type of thing and she started getting more and more frantic to the point where then people started kind of noticing flight attendant came over tried to calm her down like what's going on she sat back down but she kept looking over at this dude in the hoodie and finally she was like done with it and that's like when i really started paying attention like okay what's going on and that's when she was like i'm i can't do this she started getting up she started walking up to the front and then the whole video thing happened i didn't take a video of it i was listening to a stephen king audiobook i wasn't like pulling out my phone to record this and she didn't seem drunk to me by the way just throwing that out there she i didn't i didn't see her drink i mean she didn't she seemed totally normal to me up until that point the weird thing was after she left the plane the dude in the hoodie which the flight attendant was like did anything happen and he still didn't say a word he just went like and like shrugged the dude in the hoodie like looked around the plane and he looked back at me and he winked at me and again i didn't quite register it i was like okay what the fuck was that about i was like maybe he's just being like and it's like winking like that was weird wasn't it but now that i look back i realized that when he winked at me and it was his left eye looking back at me it didn't wink like this it winked like this this incident clearly shows how ignorance about these dangerous beings can wreak havoc in the world just imagine if these folks were muslims they would have been armed with I mean, the right prayers to counter those demons. Let's take a look at Surah Al Falak, chapter 113, verse 1 to 5. Say, I seek refuge in the Lord of the daybreak from the evil of that which he created, and from the evil of darkness when it settles, and from the evil of the blowers in knots and from the evil of an envier when he envies or how about surah anas chapter 114 verse 1 to 6 say i seek refuge in the lord of mankind the sovereign of mankind the god of mankind From the evil of the retreating whisper, whisperer who whispers evil unto the breast of mankind. From among the jinn and mankind. These verses are known as a true refuge or the Muawid Hatir. Muslims often recite them individually or together as a way to seek protection from the influence and harm caused by jinn. Let me tell you, when you recite these verses with sincerity and true belief, it's like unleashing a magical force field that brings divine protection and keeps negative energies at bay. Trust me, I say these prayers all the time. And they really were. If those two people in the airplane incident had recited these verses, I can guarantee you those genes would have disappeared from that plane and, and, and their power neutralized. It is a valuable lesson, obviously, for all of us as Muslims, especially in these wicked times, in these very wicked times, we need to arm ourselves against the prying eyes of demons and devil you know moving up and down we can invoke these prayers to, to to protect our families wherever they might be honestly we don't know what will become of those guys after this encounter they might end up in a sorry state let's hope and pray that they are safe inshallah guys don't forget to like share and subscribe until next time assalamualaikum